Right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a Cancer Rising. Weekly general tarot reading October 5th to uh, October 11th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading or uh, taking a tarot class, all the information you need in regards to that, you can find into the description, into the description uh, down below. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's have a look what you are to experience uh, throughout the week itself. Right, so those are the, five, the four prime cards. And uh, the first one here is going to show the topic or what the week is going to be all about. So we do have the Tree of Swords and it is accompanied here with the Tree of Wands. Wow, okay. And so that's... Um, that is the week where you are going to realize that you are pretty much stopping yourself of um, making a significant progress in generally in terms of career or in terms of relationship. That you are allowing, um, how do you say it in English? You are allowing a thoughts of failure to pretty much pollute and if you will spoil your drive to push even harder and to push even further. And that is usually caused by the impression of what kind of a consequences your drive is to create moving forward. No different than, for example, if you make a relationship with someone that your friend likes as well, you know, the thoughts that your friend is going to be miserable, it's pretty much stopping you of, uh, making a relationship with a person that you like and the person that also likes you as well. So with that being said here with those couple of cards, I can only say that whatever stands in front of you as a conquest, you earned it. Okay, that is pretty clear here with the tree of uh, with the tree of wands, especially having it with the tree of swords for it shows. Um, well, first of all, it shows the Holy Trinity, you know, that's a, a true manifestation comes about. But also, it kind of describes the, uh, the, the, the difficulty, the, the magnitude of difficulty of the enterprise and that you push through that difficulty and you're finding yourself at the very finish line. And now it's just you have to take a step forward, you know, and just finish the thing, okay? With those couple of cards. Additionally, with them, you can kind of like hear some mental cruelty in regards to you. For example, uh, how dishonorable you are, you know, or for example, how sneaky, how uh, backstabbing person you are and so on and so forth. But these speeches, they are addressed from people that does not have the guts, nor they do have the requirements, nor they do have the skill to be as far as you are. Okay. And that's why they are t saying those kind of, uh, mm, uh, those kind of words out of hatred and out of hopelessness, that they can never be what you are. And that's why throughout this week, you should not allow that mental cruelty, nor the attitude of others to stop you, nor the misfortune of the others to stop you, for everybody is tied to their fate. And for what it seems, your fate throughout this week, it is to succeed and you have to do it. You owe that thing to yourself. What can hold you back here that is going to be the High Priestess uh, accompanied with the Hierophant? And that is pretty typical. You know, I am experiencing that thing all, um, all the time. And this is where, uh, and by the way, my, uh, my manager is constantly telling me that. Uh, she tells me, I do suspect that you believe you do not deserve success. And this is all that there is to it. Uh, okay, this is the thought that holds you back. You may think that you do not deserve it, but I may burst your bubble here, but you do at least according to the first couple of cards, okay? So with the High Priestess and with the Hierophants, 
uh, that is the, uh, um, how can I say, the impression that what you are doing is not normal, that what you are doing goes outside of the, uh, of the framework of acceptance from others, that what you are doing is not right, that what you are doing is against the rules, while it isn't. For if we're talking about love or war, now within those things, there are no rules. Let's face it. I mean, whoever plays by the rules at the end of the day is screwed down, okay? So here is also a very important thing for you to adopt the standpoint that you are so far ahead that you are actually the one who creates the rules if you do take that role. Otherwise, somebody else is going to create them for them. And the last thing that those couple of cards may suggest, which is pretty, pretty, um, how can I say, um, not simple, but uh, specific, I'm sorry, it's pretty specific, it is that you are in a danger of taking advice from a wrong person or the wrong, wrong advice from a wrong person or to move forward um, within your life, career or relationship-wise following wrong criteria. okay? So the next one that we do have, it does displays what helps you uh, within this situation or what is going to help you within this week and wow look at that guys so we do have the four of wands with the wheel of fortune and uh, first of all those couple of cards are pointing that it's highly unlikely in the near future to have the same kind of uh, the same kind of uh, opportunity and i'm saying opportunity because this is what the wheel of fortune uh, say but to me uh, it's about alignment of events. It's about alignment of a circumstances. For with the four of wands here, pretty much what those two cards divulges is that you are going to have the opportunity to make change or to make a difference for yourself. Once in a lifetime opportunity to make the so needed change in your life. And on top of that, to finalize a cycle of growth, which is exactly what we talked about at the start to succeed, right, with whatever you're doing. I mean, to succeed within your project, for you can. The only thing that stops you it is because you may think that that's not the right thing for you to do. To succeed getting the project, to succeed talking with the guy or with the woman, you know, to succeed fixing your marriage, despite what your parents, for, exactly, for example, are telling you, okay? And uh, you owe that thing to yourself. With those two cards, um, you have all that you need in terms of um, realizing what the aspects are for if I'll have to give the example like that for if we do have the four of wands into the second position then it would have mean that there is an important details that you are overlooking but as we do have it here it means that you have all the details you do have all the aspects of your marriage of your career and etc etc and now on top of that with the wheel of fortune you do have the chaos on your side meaning that you get to choose you get to pick your field you get to pick your opponents you get to pick as well uh, your situation you get to pick the rules and you have to do it smart instead of doing it hard or you should do it yourself instead of allowing somebody else to do it for you, which is very possible if you do lose the momentum that it is forming here with the first a couple of cards. And the last one it is how the week is going to end for you. We do have the Ten of Wands followed by uh, the World card. Hmm. So <laughs> those couple of cards are saying that the enterprise is going to live for as long as you allow it to live to to live i'm sorry you can end it right there however you can extend it in uh, unknown amounts of time with whichever amount of time you do uh, like it to be uh, it will take efforts from you to uh, to make sustenance uh, into the relationship or into the promotion or into the project probably that these couple of cards here are signifying depending on your unique situation but also with the ten of wands what is uh, uh, what criteria that card brings into the table it is that with the efforts there are rewards okay there is yes a code of conduct that you have to follow a code of conduct a uh, conduct conduct that you have defined here with the first 
uh, three cards, as we said that you are to um, define the rules, and after that you have to oblige by those rules, but like I said, the enterprise is to end whenever you decide to. So if these cards are speaking about formation of relationship, that relationship is going to end whenever you want to, okay? Or whatever, whenever you decide that this relationship is going to end. You can get married, you can have children, you can have family with this person, should you want to, okay? And it will end once again if you do decide that this relationship is going to end. Same thing uh, follows a career. However, I want to uh, warn you one thing at the end here with the Ten of Wands. It is that sometimes, just sometimes, this card could um, intoxicate people with power in the sense of that because everything is happening according to your rules and at your turf, you may start becoming more and more careless, if you will, that you are almighty, that you get to say that, you, that, that, that all depends on you. And as a minor arcana, at some point, the whole thing could pretty much blow in your face. So be mindful that while you are going to have the power, a great power comes with a great responsibility, okay? So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.